Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a cross. This is the 4mm size cross and this is the 3mm cross. And this is in white Swarovski crystal and red Swarovski crystal and this is gold Swarovski crystal. 3mm, 4mm. So to get started you use illusion cord, monofilament, 79 4mm bicone beads, a silver ball, two silver balls, and a bale. And you get cut about an arm's length of your monofilament. Not double arm, just do like an arm's length. And then you want to start with four beads on the uh, on it doesn't matter which side you start I'm starting with my left so you just string on four well first you do three you let it drop down and then you take the last one and then you cross over which means you put your string in the opposite direction and then you put the two ends together you only do this the first time just to make the chords even and now you have it's called a square and there's one square so you put one four millimeter bead on your left string, one on your right string. Let them fall down. You pick up one bead, put it on your left. It really doesn't matter if you put it on your left or your right and you cross through it. So now you have two squares. You need a total of six. So again, we put one on your left. Let that drop down. Put one on your right. Let that drop down. Pick up one on your left and you cross through it. And then you have three squares. And I'm going to show you how to count the squares in a little while. Put two, put one on your left. One on your right. And again, just to show you that it doesn't matter which string you put it on. And then you just cross over. So do this again. You have one on your left, one on your right. I'm putting it on my left, and then I'm going to cross through it. again I believe this is the last round one on your left one on your right I'm putting one on my right and then I'm going to cross through it now we're going to count it so you count it from the side so we have six so now at this point you put meat on your left Let that drop down. You put one bead on your right. Let that drop down. Now you pick up your silver balls and the bale. And you put that, it doesn't matter if you put it on your left or your right, but I always do it on my left. So there's the silver ball, the bale, and the ball. Oops. And now you take your right thread and you can go through all three. And you cross through. And now you're ready to do the other side. So now you're going to take one on your left. Don't mind my dog barking. I apologize. Take one on your right. And you cross through. And then again, you're going to continue this until you have a total of six squares. That's what they call them, squares. So 
continue through. One on your left. One oh that happens. One on your right. And you cross through the last bead. And then when we're done making the six, I mean right now we only have three. As you can see there's three after the the bail. We're going to do a total of six. And then I have the red beads out there too because I wanted to show you when we um, sew. It's called zipping up the sides. And I, I put that in red. So you'll see how that looks. Again, you have one on your left. One on your right, and then you cross through. So let's count it. We have four so far. Is that four or five? One on your left, one on your right, cross through, now you want to attach the bottoms together, so you take one on your left, one on your right and instead of putting one on your left and cross through you can use the bottom the first bead they actually added on the other side so you just pick your piece up and you're going to use that bead and you're just going to cross through that one and it's going to pull your beads together kind of in a circle so just pull it together See how it, when you, and now they're attached. So now I'm going to teach you how to sew up the sides to make it look like a rectangle. Now you have to bring, see I'm just showing you how to, you line it up. You kind of want the beads to match evenly because you're going to put the red beads in between each of those bicones. So I already have a string on that side coming out and that string I need to pull around so that they're both on the same side. So what you do, it, it gets a little bit, um, not tricky, but it's, see how it's trying to pull apart? It's, it gets a little frustrating, but you just hold it tight and you just try to bring that other bead that's on, I mean the other cord and you want to try to match it up and bring it around to the other side. So what you're going to do is just See now that see how they're on opposite ends. Now you want that that bead to go through over there. That bead, and then the one. It's just kind of going around it, just so you could bring that string so that they could both be on the same side. And then you just pull it, pull it, pull it like that, and then you're together. See, they're they're the strings are on the same side. I mean, it, it, it's pretty simple once you actually do it. Now you need to bring the string that is on the left side, that one, the left side. As you can see one of the strings is facing down. Let me try to show you. That one is facing out and this that one is facing down. So you want to get the one on the opposite side, the one that's coming out, you want that to go down also. So you're just going to go down one of the beads. Okay, so now they're facing the same way. They're both going down the bead. So now you have room. You're going to put a red bead in between. You're going to cr cross through the red bead and then it's going to start to zip up. 
and it, the first one is it gets a little bit it's not hard I won't say it's hard but once you start zipping up like the second and third bead you'll see how easy it is so you take the first one and you cross through it you take the one and you just now you bring it together now you bring in all the pieces together so that's the, the first one now you take the strings they're now going out but now you want to bring it down so you go down the next bead on each side so you take your string and you go down one bead and you're going to do this in between each bead so the goal is to take the red bead and you want to put them in between each bead so you're just going down one bead at a time And I like to hold it to the side like this because it just for some reason it's easier for me to hold. But just you know for this purpose I just want to show you. So I gotta put it down and then I'm gonna add another bead because now they're facing down and I have room to put another bead in between. So you cross through the red, pull it. And now it's going to sit right in between the two beads. And now you just continue that down. So I always hold it to the side. And I squeeze them together. And I see that they're all lined up nice. So I'm going to go down the next, the next bead. Pull that. Take the other side and you go down. And then you take another red bead. So they call this zipping it up. You're zipping up the sides. It's kind of like a zipper. And you go ahead. We do it again. Go down the next bead. each side you take your red bead and you criss cross over and you pull it down there you go we have you see how many we have left two more so you go down the next bead on each side it gets a little tricky sometimes the bead likes to move and you kind of have to you know, maneuver it around so you can get that string through. And take another red bead and you cross over. One more and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the other side. And what's neat is that you could even, when you do the other side, you'll see how it looks. It's, it's a pretty pendant, even if you don't make it across. Um, like this is a cross pendant we're making, but you could actually use this just as a pendant, just like a bar pendant. And it's very pretty. I've done that before. Um, and I've worn them, got lots of compliments. So one side is done. 
and now you have to bring the string to the other side and you just continue zipping it on the other side so how did how you do that you go through the next the bead let me show you exactly it's hard to describe maybe it's not, they're not numbered these beads you're just going to go through just follow the bead that I'm doing see you just pull it through so that the string goes onto the other side going through that side it's that side bead it's parallel it's kind of parallel and now you turn it around see, you turn, now that see where their beads the, the strings coming out of and now you just start zipping up again pick up your red bead go down the next one and then take your red bead crisscross it's on the next one if you guys want you can fast forward if you know what you're doing just fast forward this part and then you can go ahead I'll show you how to do the arms We have three more to do, and then we're done with the with the bar part. We go down the next. And I tried to make this uh, the other day with um, string, not the monofilament. I used uh, the string with a needle and thread and you can do that it actually uh, it seems easier to do it that way but it just it's flimsier it just it's tighter with the uh, illusion cord it just seems tighter for some reason cross over the red bead through the next bead and if you guys have any questions you could always um, write a comment if you didn't understand something and I'll try to um, you know get back to you with you know further instructions if it's not clear And this is the last one and then on the last one um, it, I this just for this purpose I just tied a knot at the end just to you know get to the you know just to kind of do it quickly but you I don't usually tie a knot I usually just string the um, threads around the be you know the the piece until it gets nice and tight so this is it. That's a bar, and you can wear it just like that. And if you do it in a three millimeter, it's it's sm much smaller, and it's really cute. Um, you can do them in gold, silver, just really nice colors. Uh, the Swarovski has beautiful um, colors out there that you know, like the double A B. She's beautiful colors. 
All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do the arms. So the cross, you want the arms to come out um, on that side where the holes of the uh, bail is kind of facing you because you don't because that's you want the you know it's gonna you're gonna wear a necklace so that's where it goes. Now you count down two beads on the side and you go through it and you want the strings to be even. And then we're just going to do a right angle wave. We're going to do um, the same thing we were doing before, only we're, we're making the arms. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one bead, and I'm doing it in red, one bead on your left, and then the one bead on your right, and you cross through. And we're going to do this three more times. We're going to do a total of four squares on the arm. So that's just one. Take one on your left, one on your right, and then cross through. Cross through that one. The one on your left, one on your right, and then you cross through it. One on your left, one on your right, cross through. And now what you do, and we have four of them, so now you take, you're going to cross, you can put one on your left, one on your right, well, I'm doing one on your right, one. it doesn't matter which, which way, because you're only going to, you're going to attach the last one onto the piece, the next bead that is, it's right there, the next bead that's next to like from where you started it's the next bead below it so you're going to cross through and that's going to fold the arm down just you've got to help it a little bit and then you just fold it down and there's your arm now you take your string and you're going to go through the very first red bead. And you can do that on both sides first before we, because we have to add a bead. And I'll show you how you, how you do that. Now turn, turn it around and you add, not that you add it, you're going to put it through. Let's put it through that first bead because it's going to keep it, it's going to keep it tight so it doesn't, um, open up as you're adding the bead. Okay, there you go. Now it's kind of nice. Pull it taut. Now you take, you pick up your red bead and you're going to go in between. So you see that there are well, actually, I'm taking a white bead because I wanted to show you exactly how you do it. So now there are five beads. One, two, three, four, five. So you're going to take that white bead and you're going to have it sit that way, up and down. So you're going to take your string and you're going to go through the, the one on the right. The red bead on the right, you're going to go through. And then you're going to go down the next red bead. And then you're going to go towards the left through that next bead. And then you're going to go up 
the bead you just added. You're going to go up that bead you just added. And then you're going to go towards the left through the, the bead next to it, that red bead next to it. You're going to go through and you're going to bring your the next two red beads because you want your string to go onto the other side. So try to get that through there. So it's going through that red bead and then through the other red bead, those two beads. And now you're ready, you're in position for the other side. Now you turn that over and now we do the same thing. And we're almost done. So we have that one bead we have to add and you're just gonna go, you'll see it's, it's exactly what we did on the other side. So you pick up your white bead And then you put in between and then you take your string and you go through that red bead you're gonna go down the next red bead and then you're gonna go to the right Of course, it gets stuck on the bail, but that's okay. Go through the right one. And then back up through the bead you just added. And then towards the right through the next two red beads so that your string is on the other side. And if you have to pick it up, it's actually easier to pick it up. There we go. And now you're in position to start that process again. You turn your piece over and now you do the same four squares. So you take one on your right, one on your left, and then you cross through. And you can just continue that until you have a total of four squares. This is the second one. One on your left, one on your right. Cross through it. Two more. Get one on your left. One on your right. Cross through it. So we have three. Count the sides. One on your left, one on your right. Cross through it. Now on the last one, you want to attach it to the second bead. So you take one on your right string, one on your left string, and you cross through the, the second one underneath is that one. And of course it's going to fold up, you just fix it and you, you fold it down. And then I always start, like I said before, as I like to go on both sides, I just go through that, that first bead, 
just to keep it from unraveling. Go on the other side. Sometimes you have to move the wire out of the way or the string. Now you take your bead and you just bring it up like that so you know which bead you have to go through. So you're going to lift it up and you're going to go through the right side. You're going to go down. You're going to go ac across towards the center. And then you're going to go up the bead you just added. And then towards the center the red bead towards the center and you don't have to go all the way through if you don't want to because um, you're going to just take that string and you're going to string it around the bead just to reinforce it so. and for now just leave it because you want to turn it around and do the other one and then you just do the same thing on this side take your bead Put it in between. Go, and that's pretty much it. Actually, my video for some reason just stopped. But uh, if you need to review it, just go back one. But it's pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, just hit the like button. If you have any questions, just um, send me a message and I'll answer your questions.